morning Taurus welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles welcome listeners my name is Rosa and I am coming in with a you versus them style love reading remember love can, uh, love roles can be reversed in today's video and if you feel that your messages are not here please check out your other placements or alternatively you can always just tune back in next time when I upload a new reading for your sign uh, if you feel that your messages are not here, Taurus, check out your other placements. Uh, but otherwise, let's begin your reading. I do want to mention thank you for your patience. I was away on holidays with my family. I needed the break and I feel relaxed and reset. And, and yeah, once again, thank you for your patience, Taurus. Let's begin now by opening up and asking Spirit and Tarot. Uh, to show us the energy of Taurus towards the person that Taurus is connecting to and dealing with in love. So spirit angels and guides, please show us the energy of Taurus towards the, the, the person that Taurus is connecting to and dealing with in love. Okay, so the magician, two of swords, ten of wands, eight of wands, death, King of Wands. Okay, so you could be connecting to a Scorpio or a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Virgo, Gemini on the table. Okay, let's just have a look here. Hmm. I'm trying to establish your energy. For some reason, I feel like you are the Two of Swords and the King of Wands, to be honest. Taurus, I feel like you have somebody blocked with the Two of Swords. Okay. You may have someone emotionally blocked or physically blocked or energetically blocked here. Yeah. And there is someone here... The, the reason why you have this person blocked um, is because I get this feeling with the magician that this person in the past has tried to manipulate you or maybe deceive you in some way. Mm. And I just feel with the King of Wands that you are holding your position or you're holding your ground. Because as it stands, it feels like this person that you have blocked is trying to reach you or is trying to connect with you. I mean, the Eight of Wands, the death card is here. So it makes me feel like this person is coming back from the dead. They're trying to reconnect with you. They're trying to, like, with the Eight of Wands, it makes me feel like this person is desperate or is keen or is eager to talk to you. Um, they're trying to get a message across. But as far as you're concerned, you don't want to have anything to do with this person. With the death card, it makes me feel like you're saying, Rosa, I don't want anything to do with this person. Yeah. Yeah. 
Why is the Ten of Wands here, Spirit? Why is the Ten of Wands here for Taurus? Tell me more. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Taurus? The Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. When I see the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles together, it's very, it's conflicting energy. You know, um, the thing is for you, Aries. Uh, sorry, not Aries. You may be dealing with an Aries. The thing is for you, Taurus, is. With the Ten of Pentacles, this is all about you know your future stability and in order to have a solid future and a stable future with this individual um, you're you're saying here, I I can't, Rosa. This if if I'm with this person, this person makes it very difficult to be with. They're very difficult. It's very challenging. It's 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 very tough. It's very difficult. They don't make it easy. It's a hard work relationship. That's what you're saying. Uh, let me have a look at the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Okay, two cards flew out. Oh my God, look at this. The Devil and the Four of Swords. This is why you have this person blocked because with the Devil, this person you're saying is very toxic. Is very, very toxic. There are some patterns of behavior that this person has that they continuously bring into your life and with the four of swords you're showing me that your life seems a lot more um, like peaceful okay or quiet when you don't um, like interact with this person You just feel like, because the Four of Swords is showing me here that you have peace. Since blocking this person, you have, there's a sense of peace. There's mental, like your brain is like, oh, I don't, I don't have to hear it. I don't have to deal with it. You know, um... Let's have a look at this magician. Why is a magician here? The Ace of Wands. You know what? There is definitely someone here that is trying to connect with you. The Ace of Wands, this is someone who is trying to have a new beginning with you, is trying to initiate contact with you, is trying to start something up here with you. The thing is, Taurus, is this person displays a lot of confidence. Okay, they feel confident that they can maybe woo you or um, pursue you. They feel confident that they can I don't know like
tempt you again. Let's have a look at this King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here for Taurus? I do feel that you are this King of Wands though. Oh, okay. The Knight of Cups is here. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, there, there is definitely someone here that is trying to love bomb you. Okay. But you're not budging because you know that a relationship with this person is very challenging that this person brings a lot of conflict into your life and you don't want that i'm seeing that you don't want the conflict you feel like to have a relationship with this person it feels like you would have to do all the work And you don't want that responsibility. You don't want that pressure. You want a relationship with someone where two of you are working together. And you feel like this person doesn't work with you in partnership. With the magician here, you feel like you're dealing with someone who just thinks about themselves. All right. Let's take a look at this person that you're connecting to. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person that Taurus is connecting to. What is their energy towards Taurus, please? What is this person's energy towards Taurus? What is this person's energy towards Taurus this week? Oh, the three of swords. The five of, ah, oh, five of pentacles, justice. Ace of cups, there it is, queen of swords. Page of, pen, page of cups. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Queen of Swords. Um, it, uh, sorry, Libra, Justice, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So there are some of the signs that you could be connecting to. Look, I've got to say, this person isn't liking the fact that you have blocked them. Okay, they, they are not liking it at all. Um, now, when I say that they don't like it, the Three of Swords is here. So Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles. This would have to say that this person is deeply wounded by the fact that you have blocked them on all levels. Okay, some of you have blocked them on all levels. Some of you have blocked them energetically. Some of you have blocked them emotionally. Um, some of you have blocked them physically. And this person is feeling wounded by it. They're feeling abandoned. They're feeling neglected. They're feeling rejected. They feel like you don't care anymore. Um, they don't they don't like the fact with the Queen of Swords that you have asserted obviously some kind of a boundary here hmm Um, however, with the Justice card, I am seeing that this person I, 
I am seeing that they are wanting redemption. Because the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups is here. And these two cards would have to indicate like apology. This person doesn't like feeling abandoned by you. Okay, they don't like feeling rejected by you. It, it feels harsh. It's like a harsh treatment that this person is experiencing. And with the justice here, it feels like very cold. It's a cold treatment. It's a harsh treatment. It's a harsh reality. You know, with the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups, this is emotional. This person wants to feel emotionally connected to you again. They prefer being in a connection with you. You know, they like being involved with you. They don't like being excluded. Um, they don't like being kicked out of the house. <laughs> they don't like being in the doghouse with you. So this person wants a second chance here. I do see this person redeeming themselves with the Justice, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups. I do see redemption here. However, I do have to say with the Page of Cups energy in this person's spread, uh, I'm not really confident with the level of like maturity from this person because the page of cups for me is like an immature person this is someone who is emotionally immature you know this is someone who is constantly going to feel hurt abandoned they're constantly going to feel like they're the victim this is someone who constantly says i'm sorry but are they genuinely and are they sincerely sorry this is someone who you have to constantly like kick out of the house or you know what i'm saying like with the justice you, you constantly have to almost like scold this person for this person to say sorry you have to always point out with the justice where this person went wrong for this person to say sorry it almost feels like this person doesn't really know where they go wrong yeah queen of swords is here there it is the queen of swords is here it's constantly you constantly always have to tell this person what they've done wrong or where they're going wrong or what they're doing wrong and it's like i'm sorry i'm sorry but they're not they don't even know why they're sorry they're just feeling like they are saying sorry because they have to say sorry to get back in your good books again but because they're opening up with the energy of the three of swords are they really doing the healing work this is someone who is constantly just wounded all the time Let's clarify. I'm just going to clarify. No wonder you've had a hard time with this person. I can see why you've had a hard time with this person. The Page of Cups is here. So this is someone who is not in touch with the real world. This is the Page of Cups is kind of like a daydreamy, head in the clouds kind of a person. Yes, they're sweet. Yes, they're caring. Yes, they're kind. Um... I, I get that with the Page of Cups, but again, this is someone who is detached from reality. 
yeah. All right, let's look at let's look at the three of swords. Tell me more about this three of swords energy for this person. The six of swords. See, they it's because with the six of swords, um, this person is feeling abandoned by you. They they feel like you're moving on without them. They don't like the fact that you've turned your back on them. Okay, there is a fear here of losing you all together. Mm. But again, with the Six of Swords, Three of Swords, I see this person sweeping the problems under the rug. You know, they're not really addressing the real issues or they're not really addressing their issues. They want to approach you. Um, they want to make peace, obviously. They want to start over with you, but they're not really addressing the real problems. They're not really addressing what they're doing to cause disappointment within the connection. Yeah, they're not. Let's look at this page of cups. Tell me more. See, the six of wands flew out. So this is someone who is coming in, uh, wanting to draw your attention, passionately pursuing you, confidently pursuing you with love letters. Um, this person could be, like I said, uh, love bombing you here. This is love bombing energy for sure. Okay. There's almost a sense of desperation here with the Page of Cups and the Six of Wands. Yeah. And there's something about the Six of Wands. This is someone who kind of like won't stop until they get what they want. Mm. Uh, the Six of Wands is an energy of victory, of success. So this is someone who is determined to successfully uh, pursue you and win you over. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here, please, Spirit? The cards are sort of trying to flip over, but I saw, I saw the Death card. I saw the Death card which you have the death card in your spread. So there's an ending and a beginning. So I feel like this person is definitely trying to revive your connection. Uh, the sun, yeah, new beginnings, guys. This person is definitely trying to revive the connection here. I just said that. Hmm. The sun. Yeah. They, they want an emotional new beginning here, for sure. All right, let's take a look and see what's coming towards you this week in love. Spirit, angels and guides, what's coming towards Taurus? What is coming towards Taurus in love this week? take a look our shuffle what is coming towards Taurus in love this week knight of cups the lovers ace of wands well yeah th these are 
pardon me, all repeated cards that I have seen throughout your reading here today. We have with the Lovers, Gemini, Energy, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There is definitely someone coming in wanting to pursue you with a lot of love bombing energy. Okay. Love bombing energy, guys. Mm. This is someone with the Lovers who is coming in trying to reconnect on an emotional level. This is someone who is trying to appeal to your emotional needs, okay? Who is trying to appeal to your sentimentality. Mm. With the lovers, this is a, a connection, a strong, deep, passionate connection. This person is doing everything that they can to try to get that connection back. There's communication coming in. This person is doing everything or saying everything to tempt you to hear them out listen to them, uh, forgive them, accept them back in. The Ace of Wands is also here. So what's coming towards you this week, uh, Taurus, is a lot of passion. Okay. A lot of fire. This person is trying to really ignite the spark and the connection between the both of you. Mm. Interesting. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Queen of Wands. Advice. Last parting messages. So what I love about the Queen of Wands is, well, the King of Wands is here. You, you've got the King of Wands in your spread. The Queen of Wands is here and the King and the Queen are soulmates. Uh, the thing is, is the King and the Queen are, how do I put this? The King and the Queen of Wands specifically they are like when they meet each other they are each other's match like I'm just trying to find the right words to say this it's almost like you're coming head to head this person is going to try to appeal to you on your level. That's the thing. But the Queen of Wands is you sort of saying here, I'm no pushover. Okay, the Queen of Wands is very assertive. She knows her value, she knows her worth. And she's no pushover. See, uh, what's coming towards you here is you've got someone here who is really doing their best to try to reignite the passion and the desire. They are really doing their best to love bomb you. The Queen of Wands, she's very observant. Her fire is contained. And in this deck, the Queen of Wands has her legs closed. So you won't be letting this person in, I feel. You're not letting this person in very, very easily. 
okay? You won't be charmed by this person. You won't be influenced by this person because you know this person, you're ahead of the game is what I want to say. Yeah, you're ahead of the game. You might find yourself still attracted to this person because like I said, King, King and Queen of Wands, they're like a perfect match. You might find yourself attracted to this person, but you're no, you're no fool and you're no pushover. Um, so that's where I'm going to leave the reading, uh, Taurus. Let me know. Oh, you know what else is coming through? Sorry. You're raising your standards. That's what I'm going to say here. You, you're preserving your self-respect and you're raising your standards. You won't be lowering your standards for this person. This person has met their match is what I want to say. So that's where I leave the reading, Taurus. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if it resonated with you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.